Jesus. Today, we're going to start and talk about the idea of grow, the second of those three core values for life groups. And, and the second one is grow. I'm actually going to invite Celeste to come and tell a short story about what happened whenever she was willing to share with somebody and what happened in their faith through life groups. So during a season when we were living in Paris, France, I began to find that every day when I was walking my son to school, that I would see a different moms walking their kids as well. And through the course of just walking back and forth every day, I began to just build these conversations with these other moms. And I found out that they were also foreigners in France who were there because their husbands were working. And so they didn't have a lot of things going on in life. So I thought, you know what, let's begin having a tea, because tea is a big deal in Europe. So we're gonna have tea once a week, and I'm gonna invite the moms in the community that are there that don't have much going on, and we're just gonna build a relationship. How many of you can use more friends? Always, right? So I thought, we're gonna meet these ladies, I'm gonna bring them over, and we're just gonna start building a community with them. And so that's what we did. I have um, tea at my house once a week, and then they wanted to start hosting tea. So every week we were at a different house, and through that came the conversations, why are you in France, what do you do? And I got to share, hey, we're starting a church and we're here for you. And God brought us all the way to a new country for you. Imagine how that would change the mindset of people in the community. And so through that, one of the ladies began to come to church with me and she loved it. She loved being in a country that was not her home, that she can begin to meet other people, and she just felt so loved. Out of that, she brought her French husband with her, and within a matter of months, both of them began to give their hearts to the Lord, go through discipleship. They brought their young son with them, who was half British, half French. He also began to have a relationship with Jesus, and out of that, the husband brought his mom with them, who was a French lady who lived inside of the proper part of Paris, and she also came and met Jesus for the first time and went through a discipleship program, all because we were willing to open up and just say, hey, we could use another friend. And so during this, this morning when we begin to talk about GROW, I want to encourage you to think about people you could reach out to. Maybe somebody in your workplace who's lonely, they could use a friend, they could use somebody to go to lunch with, they could use somebody to talk with. People in your community, there's older people that probably don't have somebody to help them do things during this season. Just ways that you could be an example of Jesus in everything that you do and that you can continue to grow and bring other people with you to grow in Christ as well. Amen.